everybody Lev farmer 73 here i was out doing a checklist on uh, some of my trees because i got a lot of stuff that i'm going to be doing to the trees a lot of projects coming up and i just thought about something it's it's cold it's really cold right now everywhere around the country if i don't know where you are but i'm in columbia south carolina and i'm freezing right now but i thought about something my peaches even through the freeze have been making it right my plums too i thought about this why are they making it and i think i know why let's go over here to this peach tree over here check this out Notice something while I was doing a check. All, this is the, uh, the contender peach tree, the one that bloomed first. It was loaded with peaches. Loaded, remember that? It was the first one to bloom. It done made it through a whole bunch of freezes, but this last couple of freezes just knocked it out the box. And I know why. I think I know why. It's my theory. See these little peaches here? Let's zoom in on that. See those little peaches? Come on now. Let's, let's focus on him. Well, anyway, the little peaches like that, they seem like, there we go, those little guys. See, you get anxious. When they first start blooming, they look like this. They look like that right and once they get pollinated they end up looking like this and see this they keep that little crown on them like that and you get real anxious especially people that just start keeping fruit trees and growing fruit trees you get anxious because you want to see what the peach look like so you pull that crown off leave that crown alone and i'm gonna show you why Because if I just thought about this, if you take that crown off, I think, and I said this in another video, I said it's like the umbilical cord. It seems like every time you take it off, they fall off. I think I know why. This is why. Because that's their extra little frost blanket like a baby. When that falls off, look. See that? See how easy that just fell off? This one too. No more crowns. See that? Simple and easy. Now watch this. I was doing the same thing with this. Look. When they got the crown, they ain't so easily toppled off. That's because I think this is their little frost blanket. And it's able to withstand a couple of you know low temperature chills but the ones without the blanket like this little guy they just come right off so i encourage you i know you want to see what that peach look like I, I trust me i've done it and i used to i used to sit around and just take all of them off i really did but i don't think we should i think you should leave it alone the tree First, they got smartphones, smart doorbells, smart trees came first. These trees know what they're doing. That's why I keep saying I just put them in the ground and I pretty much leave them alone. I don't do all of that strange stuff to them. These trees know what they're doing. So, trust and believe. I know you're excited. I get excited even still. But it just dawned on me. Because I was going to start plucking them off again. Leave them alone. Everyone without this frost blanket. Little safety. Just like a newborn baby. Everyone without it. Look. Flicks right off. It's done for. I think that's nature's way. Of giving it one last little shield of protection. I did the same thing on this plum tree over here. It's a lot of them on here. See this little guy right here? 
I don't think he stands a prayer. Let me see. He hanging on. But I really don't think, like this guy, he still got his jacket on. Where you go? This little guy here, he still got his clothes on. So I really think you guys, leave that crown alone. Look at it as a little frost blanket. A natural frost blanket. I was always wondering why they stay on there so long. Some of them just stay for a long time. Maybe because they just ain't ready yet. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. They know what they're doing. Okay? Just had to throw that out there. I'm out here doing a checklist of all the stuff. I'm about to do a whole bunch of air layers. I'm about to do a whole bunch of stuff. And I had a pen and a paper and a pad. I said, let me go grab my dog on phone. Because maybe... You know, people want to hear this. So that's it, you guys. I just want to throw that at you real quick. Leave your trees alone. They know what they're doing. Okay? Live Farmer 73. I love you. And I'm out.